Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview and Domestic Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Monday the 3rd of December and ending Friday the 7th of December 2018. It is the November is behind us now. Statements are printed one month left in 2018. Uh, the layout for the month, it's always an important month to look at the layout because it's the last part of the year, obviously, uh, but also because of the holidays. So we have three full weeks wrapping up on the 21st, Friday the 21st, which will be triple, or will be, uh, yes, triple expiration. So things to be aware of. Um, so that week, that Wednesday of that week will be the options unraveling move. The year end one is usually a, de a decent one. So let's be aware of that uh, either Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, people will probably be gone on by Friday the 21st because it's triple expiration. As you know, options expirations are dead. And people leave because the following Monday is a half day for Christmas Eve. Tuesday, the markets are closed for Christmas Day. And for the most part, the volume does not return for that following Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, the 26th, 27th, and 28th, as people are you know, on holiday mode. And then New Year's Eve is also a Monday. New Year's Day is a Tuesday. And then we get back to work with three days, three full days of the week. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's a good holiday layout. Um, so we have three three solid weeks minus that third Friday of uh, potentially good trading. December is usually a decent month. Uh, we did see a lightning of volume the last few days, which was a little surprising. Uh, but hopefully we get some good stuff going here in December. It's not one of those years where everything's running up late in the year because people don't want to sell for tax gains. There's not a lot of that, given the fact that the market isn't really up for the year that much or hasn't wasn't just a couple days ago. So uh, it's just a straightforward trading week. Uh, a couple weeks, but it's a good layout. Here's a look at the ES. Sorry, that's not the ES. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form, 2763.75, and it's that uh, 2670 number that's about where we closed last year. So we're you know we're up about 90 points for the year. That was all made back this week. We were actually negative for the year uh, up until uh, last Monday. So. What does this mean? Well, I don't know. I've got a W bottom forming. We've bounced based on some positive Fed comments during the week. Are we saved? Who knows? We'll see what happens. Here's a look at the crude oil down 87 cents again to 50.58. This thing's hovering right at that 50 level. Really low pricing for crude for this time of year with all the heaters being used. Uh, gold up uh, down $3.20. S&P cash gained 22.4. Most of it late in the day. It was kind of a flat day for the end of month. Not surprising up until late. NASDAQ 100 up 56.61 to 69.49. The SOX gains 18.17. Biotech's up 49.94. Russell 2000 up 7.87. The VIX loses 72 cents, closing at 18.07. The trend, another low reading at 0.86. That puts that 10-day moving average at 0.94. Uh, what did the 10-day get to yesterday, by the way? We were going to check that out. The moving average, the lowest it got in this was 9.90. So that's not, remember, that's under 0.85 is a sell signal. Now let's count back 10 days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So uh, we're going to lose a number, a couple of numbers under 1, and then we'll lose some higher numbers. Hard to, it's possible the trend could get that sell signal one more time this year. Remember, we only got it once this year. It was right at the top of the market. NASDAQ volume is $2.5 billion, but that's deceptive. It was really tracking for $1.7 billion right up until uh, the last few minutes of the day. And uh, then they did the rebalancing of the Goldman Index. So... That printed 800 million shares late in the day, uh, but we were really tracking for some light volume. We had a volume warning for the first time in a long time, end of month for November. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ plus 276 on the New York plus 258. So more stocks up than down just slightly. Google gains 1507. Apple continues to slide down 97 cents. Nothing there looks very good. Uh, Netflix down $2.62, also not very healthy looking. Uh, we've got Amazon uh, up 16.60, Tesla up 9.31, Facebook up a dollar 93. That does not look good either. And another one that we like to follow: Goldman Sachs down four dollars and 16 cents to new, uh, almost new closing lows. It made new lows for the year at one point. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, up 43 cents. All right. In terms of intra-week action, let's go take a look at the ES and switch to 10-minute candles. And you can see here, so Monday we had a gap up and pretty flat all day. Closed just slightly higher than we opened. Tuesday, a small gap down that filled and again closed just slightly up. Wednesday, gap up, did not quite fill. Popped uh, midday on those Fed comments and rallied. That was the bigger move day. 
of the week and got a 13 sell signal right at the close that didn't do much. We pulled back Thursday morning and closed about even Thursday and then Friday just dead flat, like I said, until we finally rallied late to print those statements. So a positive week in the market there. If you look at the NASDAQ side, pretty much the same story and also a positive week. Um, keep in mind, well, okay, let's go through the economic data that's coming out this week. Also, just be aware there will be no market preview Monday for Tuesday. Uh, market previews will resume Tuesday night this week. Uh, Monday at 9.45 a.m., final manufacturing PMI data here. At 10, we got the ISM manufacturing PMI and the construction spending. Tuesday, no data at all. Wednesday, ADP non-farm employment changed, revised non-farm productivity, final services PMI number, ISM non-manufacturing PMI, uh, crude oil inventories, and beige book in the afternoon. Thursday, OPEC has their meetings beginning. We've got the trade balance number an hour before the bell, the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims number, factory orders 30 minutes in, natty gas an hour in. Friday, uh, non-farm payroll and the unemployment rate an hour before the bell. So some big numbers Thursday and Friday right there. Preliminary University of Michigan consumer sentiment number and then the final wholesale inventories and consumer credit in the afternoon. That will wrap up the week. So again, hopefully a good trading week, and two or three actually, and then uh, everybody gets in holiday mode and enjoys the eggnog. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading.